Hey guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Mathis and today I'm doing the courtship tag and I was tagged by Find Me in the Library. I will link her YouTube channel down below. Be sure to check out her channel because she is a newbie, so show her some love. Question number one, an initial attraction, a book you bought because of the cover. I would have to say, the Sisters Brothers by Patrick Dewitt. The, my favorite color is red, so when I saw this cover, I just, it just instantly caught my attention, and yeah, I thought it was eye-catching. This book is about two cowboys. They get hired to assassinate this guy, and along the way, they fall into a lot of mishaps. I highly enjoyed it. I gave this book three stars, so yeah. Question number two, first impressions. A book you bought because of its summary. I would have to go with Karma Gone Bad by Jeannie Felden. This is about a young woman who lives in New York. Her husband gets a job in India. Once she is there, she is miserable and she misses her latte. This book was very comical to read. Um, I would recommend this book if you are going to India. Question number three, Sweet Talk. Ooh, a book with great writing. For that one, I would have to choose Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The language in this book is very pompous and very pretentious. That's the reason why I loved it. Question number four. First date. First book of this series that made you want to pursue the rest of the series. Yes, I'm embarrassed to show this book, but yes, Twilight. I really did enjoy this book. This book was, was to me was very different, romantic. However, I did not like the rest of the series, but I did like Twilight. So yeah. Question number five. Late night phone calls. Ooh, a book that kept you up all night long. That would have to be uh, The Taking by Dean Koontz. Now this book is very scary and very uh, haunting. I highly recommend this book because this book is very spooky. Awesome book. Question number six. Always on your mind. A book that you cannot stop thinking about. I would have to say Room by Emma Dinehue. This story is about a young boy and his mother. They are held captive in this room and they try their best to escape. Excellent book, highly recommend it, read it. So question number seven, getting physical. A book in which you love the way it feels. I have to go with Serious Men by Manus Joseph. So it's like a soft cover and hard cover type of book. And so, um, yeah, so I really like how this book feels. It's, it's very stiff and it's very um, flexible. So I like it. Book number eight. Meeting the Parents, a book which you recommend to friends and family. Coffee break. Of that one, I would have to say Sarah's Key. Uh, now this book was very interesting to read. It's about the podcast and it is centered around a brother and sister. And it's about a sister who tries to protect her little brother. It's a very, very sad story. So I re highly recommend it. So question number nine, thinking about the future. A book or series that you know you will read many times in the future. So uh, I would have to go with an inspirational book. And that is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Ruben Sharma. Question number 10, share the love. Who would you like to tag? I would like to tag anyone who is watching this video. So if you're watching this video, you are tagged. So yeah. So that is it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all later. Alright. Bye.